if I do it again. Morning guys, Saturday morning. It's about 11 o'clock now. Uh, here come the old girl. She's wrapped up, she's got a winter clobber on. Right, I just, I, I know a place where they put a few bags of horse poo out and I said, look, it's not too bad neither, so I'll get a few of that and then I'll mix this lot in with it. And that'll be, in two years time, my compost. John's here. Be nice to see him. Right, I'll show you what I've got to do. I've got to cut a tree up. Right, I'm now going to cut that up, gather the pumpkins up. They'll either be put out the front here for free. Uh, <clears throat> Bob's dropped me off a load of pallets, so I'll have to move them to my bank and get a bit backed. But I've got my little cordless one. I'll just I don't know whether it's working half the time or not. I have given it a good clean. There's a few up here today, not many. The site seems to be uh, losing its appeal to a lot of people, I think. Yeah, the roots, I pushed it out by hand. You can see it, look. Now, if that'll dry, I'll chop this some more down here. That'll dry. I've got a heavy dirty battery in the bottom of this fan. As I was saying, I've got a heavier duty battery in the van, I should have put that on, but that's done the job what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to trim some of the lower branches, some of the taller trees, but you can see that'll be put in to this. That'll slowly dry up and then I'll burn it. I'll get a chance to burn it later on. My lot was for that one. Alright guys, as you can see I've made a hell of a job of it. I'm not about to and I know you're not supposed to do it this time of year, but that was absolutely a disaster last year and there's so many branches rubbing against each other and the heart was mildewy. So I'm hoping that I've sort of managed to keep it going. Pear tree I'm leaving. That one I've took a few off which were all rubbing and bending. I really should take that one that's sticking over there. That's another one that could be got rid of. Say that John! I'm just trimming this one. There's some more on there, look. This one is all in a tangle. That should have all been chopped off in the middle. All right, guys. The, the guys have been harvesting more tomatoes than that for me. Very late, isn't it? Somebody else has set up there. These tomatoes are late. 
All right, so shut up time, take the dog out. <clears throat> I've got holiday coming up now. Oh, I can't wait, I need it. I've just sprayed them, I've took the net off of them ones down there and sprayed them there, there, Christmas cat collies. Uh, I've hacked the pear tree I've left, I've hacked the other trees and I'm afraid I don't know, I'm not experienced, so don't worry about it. I've got to weed through that this week. That'll be easy because I pull the net off and I'll, uh, I'll just pull it out. Right, so that's that done. That plum tree that'll either survive or not survive. I've cleared all the pumpkins, put the pumpkins out for people to help for themselves. There's leaks in here. Got to weed through before I go away on holiday, so run, running out of time. Uh, my wife reckoned these carrots, some of them were good and some of them were crap. So, uh, Swedes come back. Sprouts are going along good. Uh, garlic is, should hit on in there by the look of it. Oh, yeah, see, there's not a lot in anywhere now. And I've told the guys one more away. Just uh, help yourself to what you can. Some are taking them green for chutney. And John's over now, I don't know whether you can see through all his uh, asparagus fern. His sprouts were totally covered in caterpillars for months. They devoured everything. But he's got some fantastic sprouts on it. Right guys, I'm now gonna go. As you know, we only do little clips now. Oh. That's my granddaughter's, my great granddaughter's birthday tomorrow, first birthday, so we will be seeing her. Bye for now. Morning guys, Monday morning. Just after half nine. I'll come down here on my own and leave the old girl at home. She's still struggling to get over this cold she had and that. We both a pair of us are. But I thought, hello. Hello, see, I leave things in certain positions so you know whether people know the boat. Yeah, so uh, I've come down. I'm gonna possibly sort some of these greenhouses out. Uh, any of the tomatoes. I know somebody who want a load of green tomatoes. And I was going to try and have a, a general clean in the weed and that lot, but because it's so wet, you know, I, I'm possibly going to get my stream right, but I don't think I'll even bother to do that. So we'll see what I can get on with. Uh, there's always something to do. There's no wind, look, not a drop of wind. And I'm the only one down here, which I don't mind that because I can get on. I've got this little pane here to sort out. I can't silicone it, but what I can do is put a couple of clips in the top just to get it sorted. And for now, anyhow, you know what I mean, these little metal ones that hold it in. If I can get a couple of them in on it just to hold it in place, I'm all right. So we'll sort that and all. All right, let's get opened up, Michael. Get a kettle on. Might have a nice pot noodle. <sighs> it's been a funny weekend. If you can see, I've got so much to do up here. I've got to re-roof the whole thing. Look, the white plastic is blown to bits. So my shed is leaking like a sieve. But I've got so much to do at home at the same time. So I just can't keep on top of it. And because I'm sort of a, a one-man band, I, I don't ask for help or nothing. So I have to continue myself. Big old magpie over there, look. You know, watch out, because there's a black cat over there somewhere. I've got, uh, they've been up here plowing again. Please don't play the path too now. I might ask Jane if she'll put an, uh, a, uh, a line down here because they're cutting the path to bits here. Ask her if she'll uh, talk to them. But I haven't seen the secretary. They've had a pile of poo, so what I think they've been doing is moving the poo on and plowing it in. But the best way to do it, in my eyes, is to leave it on the top. You let the worms get into it and rot it, pull it in and let it soak through and then plow it in later. That's how I do it. And you know, this was my plan to try and get on top of this. I might still, but let's talk with Michael, let's crack on. My wife's at home making me a nice uh, chili and rice tonight, or t yeah, for tea, so I'll crack on. I'll show you when I start. Oh gosh, because I'm uh, closing the doors and that in here now, 
So that you know what that brings on. Blight. So I'm now going to cut them off while I can still try to keep them going for a little while. I don't want to hurt the tomatoes, but uh, I'll get right away for it. And I'm trying to keep them going just as long as possible. Right, guys, this is what I'm uh, going to do. I should have brought one of my plumbing nail boxes down here, what I stand on. I'll take the old uh, clip out there. That's look like that's going to water drop inside, so. I'm going to be after crafty here. So I've stuck a little bit of duct tape on there for now to hold it in place while I trim all that other side. But I've got to get someone to stand on because I'm only a short ass. I got the old bit out, but there's so much moss in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm possibly going to lower that one down, or I'm going to have to take that one out at the moment. But the wires are rusted away, and this is—I've been up here uh, 2011. So about 13, 14, it's probably older than that because the old boy who had it is a really old one, so I'm going to have to sort that one out and all. So the clips are, the wires are, I can't show you, they, they're rusted away. Look. So that's more than a job than I thought, but I'll get it done. Guys, so what this is, that there, that's a polytunnel tape. I said, if you get a hole in a polytunnel, which I do certain times, I've uh, got a few patches on it where I've put canes through the blooming roof, and it's good stuff. So I've taped up both sides for me to make it easier for me to get it back in. I'm just trying to trim that edge off. I just heard, I don't know whether you all must in the country get a, a, a scrap man come around showing any old iron and they have a. Ee -dee 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 -dee. Well, that's the first time I've heard him for probably about eight. To ten months, and it's a shame they didn't let him in the gate there because because there's an absolutely heap of metal. But they're uh, a little bit slow. I've got a pigeon. There's a cat, and there's a pigeon sitting in the tree there eating the seeds out of my, my wife's uh, cedar. Right, let's try and get this back in. Talk about holes in the polytunnel. Look. You got one there, you got one up there, through the other side and all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in reverse. So I'll put the clips on, slide it up. I'll just clean this section out and hopefully that'll sit in there nice and tight now. I've got some new uh, clips to go either side. All right, I'll show you when I've done it, hopefully. There you go, guys. That's done. It's cheaper than buying a new painted glass. If, and a polycarbonate at the moment is very expensive and all. all right, so I'm now going to go and have a look, see what I've got. Which is, uh, well, they're still going and they're not, uh, they're not got blight. And uh, when I'm away on holiday, I'll give the instructions to the guys to come in and help themselves. Somebody wants some green ones for chutney. Right, we've got some to clear up, so that's that job done. I've just been, been down the bottom end. I didn't realise what I had I, because I trimmed. I know probably a lot of people are going to go mad at me about trimming trees and all this stuff, but the plum tree was useless. I never never produced anything for, and it had a lot of fungus and disease and that all over it last year. So this time, what I've done, I didn't realise I had some of this blooming great big gunky gel in a tube. You uh, you put it on where you've cut to seal it. Heal and seal. Oh, someone's coming up here. I'm now going to have a pot noodle. Pot noodles, getting into bloody pot noodles, I don't know. Look at, that. Look at the garlic. The only trouble is we've got to watch the cats. The garlic's potting fruit. Oh, look, something's been pulling them. Buggers, isn't he? It's probably somebody's been pulling them out for me. Right, off we crack. That's one job done. Put my shelving in. That's this one emptied. I just I put all what I do is I pick all the tomatoes up and I'll just put them in a pile up here. Next year, you watch them, they'll go mad. That's done. It stopped raining, so I'm going to try and do a bit of tidying up. If I can, I might even start my stream up and try that one. All right, I've just got to repair this uh, shelf. All right, guys, that's one greenhouse done, sorted. Uh, what I'll do with this now is I'll leave it and then I will uh, got some good compost down in one of my compost bays. I'll bring a couple of barrel loads up and put it in there 
dig it in, put some uh, chicken pellets and blood fish and bone, and then I'll leave it over winter. So I'm now going to start on that side. Now I go to stay in now. It's very quiet. Somebody's been up just to feed the cats, and that's it. I've got something to do. That's what I've got to do, yep. Oh my gosh, as you can see, I'm having a good old clear out here. It's got a touch of blight over here now, so it's, a lot of it's got to come out. I don't store my peppers, my chilli plants now. I just restart next year fresh. I try and start them up a little bit earlier, but oh yeah, I've got to try and stop this. I don't want it to be too bad in here right. while I'm away anyhow. As you can see, the peppers are not going to make any no more at all. I've got a few small ones on, they will turn red, but they will turn red at home. I've got a lot of uh, tomatoes, green ones, ones that are semi ripening and that, so I will probably leave, th leave this, excuse me, leave this tray for Nigel to sort out when I'm away. As you can see, we're getting there. The clean up. I'll do the same with this. I'll put some uh, fresh compost out of my uh, compost bin down near the pear tree because that's probably got half a ton of uh, cow poo in it and all mixed with it. But marigolds are cracking along. Lovely, I do like marigolds. And I've left them ones just to hang, hoping they might be ripening up now to get a bit of heat in here. But uh, tons of snails. Oh, yeah. oh, look at this. Oh, sorry, I thought I forgot it. They got so big, there's no peppers on them. They're falling over, so I'm just pulling them out now. These will be done in the next few days, this one. Some pe plenty of peppers at the back there now. Plenty of tomatoes, which the guys are slowly picking them as they come, as they want now. Right. That one's done. Mm. Oh, still does. I've left that pepper there, just to go and try and uh, get as big as possible. Now oh, those are nice, they really are. I'm emptying all my water cans now, if I don't need them. So that'll be stored in here, that way. I'm now going to try and start my little little way around, see if that's working. That and the big boy were the best investments. You know something? The only thing I've done without a chance to start club. That is absolutely brilliant. So I'm now going to till through a lot of it to try and get the weeds up bit. I've got extremely warm, a strange weather, really strange, but I'm not, not complaining. So you guys, I'm only going down a few, a few inches just to, to take the weeds off the top and that. And when they, if they start looking like they're starting, what's name? You just pull them out because they're so loose. That's uh, what the game is. My wife's just she's just done me a lovely chili for tonight, uh, and she's got a spider in one of them. My wife has bought a spider catch. You won't believe it. It's like multi-handed little plastic nylon ends, and at you put it over top of the spider like that, and just close it, and it picks the spider up and you can put it outside from Amazon, tenner. So she's a happy bunny. <laughs> right, I'll try and get this finished before the kettle boil. Right guys, I've uh, roughed up that bit, this bit here. Uh, potatoes are planned for there this, uh, next year. So that'll be, no, to be quite honest, no. Uh, yes, yes, because I've got to lime all that section down there. I've got to rotivate it up, lime it and leave it. And then uh, that'll be brassicas. And brassicas in there, but I'll possibly be lining them in there. I know it looked like somebody's uh, had a dog on my plot or something. It's not, uh, it's not foxes. Hmm. I oh, might be able to catch it. I had my camera up. I've taken it home to get the film out. All right, guys. Might be a bloody cat, though. I've got two cats, three cats on it. As you can see, my roof desperately need doing, so if that's a priority when I come back off. I'll leave my flag there. <laughs> they do the last five minutes. They're supposed to be super strong and this, that, and the other. What a load of gunk. All right, I've got a shout, Tony. Get this done. 
Then I've got to go and take the dog. This lot I've got to take some time, but not yet. Just let it walk down. It's very quiet up here, though, guys. As I said, it really is quiet. Look at that. Sunflower somebody put in that for me. I was put in there because it was dead centre in the pot. <laughs> Buggers, isn't he? Well, we have some fun up here, guys. We really do. There's a good crowd of us. We really do have some fun up here. I had a bit of good news from one of my old girls up here. She rung me up yesterday and gave me some good news, so I'm pleased for her. I'll take you over to see Tony. He says, here he is. I don't know, he's found himself a load of old spuds from home, which are cheated, but he's now digging up his secret supply. Oh, he's got a potato fork. That cost you something. 40 odd quid. Yeah, they are. How are your spuds like, Tony? They're good, though. Yeah, rubbish look like, cut the tops off. Yeah, I know. Well, like, they're not as big as the same sort of size as mine. I know mine are main crop. Mm, they're right. se second earlys. T. That's me done for the day. I think I've got, got a clip from Saturday. I'll put up here and all. Uh, right, as you can see, I've roughed all that lot up. That's all I'm doing, really, just roughing it up so the weeds don't get a mega hold. Uh, yeah, so. Got there, got my carrots come through. Parsnips are hit, kicking on, and me sweet have kicked on since I sprayed them. Now it's getting cold, hopefully, that will stop the wasp names. Uh, oh, some boy under here, I forgot about that. This can come out of the way. This is a, uh, a carrot net. What I use for carrots because they're super fine. I'm using this as a storming place for nets. Yeah, so my sprouts are looking good. As, as, uh, as, uh, I'm in the good books. If I can get sprouts for the old girl for Christmas Day, well, you never know what's going to happen nowadays with a, a happy woman, do you? <laughs> you got to laugh nowadays. you got to laugh because we're living in a freaking mad world. Absolutely freaking mad, I tell you. I worry about what's going on in the world. I really do, and I have to tell my wife not to worry about all this people dying and all this lot. We can't prevent it, we can't do nothing about it. Right, that's got to be empty tomorrow. I'm back up tomorrow. I'm up most days this week to try and get the whole thing in shape. That net's going to come off there now, the old cabbage whites and that are finished. I've got to just, I'm going to have to ask the secretary to have a word with them. They're cutting the path back and back and back and that'll be so now I won't be able to get a wheelbarrow down there if they keep doing it. They'd be wise to cut the path the other side, put a line and cut right to the edge. Right, so this lot tomorrow, the old girl will probably come and half course one, won't he? Mmm. Oh, God. I, I suppose I've told you this before, but I'm not supposed to eat tomatoes because I suffer with gout. And uh, if you suffer with goat, you're not supposed to eat tomato or red meat. Right, Tony's there digging all his buds up. They got blight early. Right, I'll put this up tonight, guys. Ah, sorry about that mark on the screen. Just bear with me. Clean? Yeah, I'm clean. Right, so... I'll just to keep you on. Tony reckon he's got his pepper plants up to my my crossbar. He reckon they're really gone, but he's got his impots. I've got a nice red one down there. Let's give, give the old girl a job to do tomorrow to harvest them. So, as you can see, quick go over. And a sword. I need to get a line down this path. This, I, I took this path away at one time because uh, I didn't need it, so I used to go straight across with a wheelbarrow. But uh, that path I use more than a wider, but uh, that's another day conversation that is about that path. Right, so I will, uh, as you can see, I've, I managed to get on with a bit. I'm now going to take the dog out. And my tea's been cooked for me today, lovely chubby. It's 
So stay safe, everybody. Don't want to lose. Just showed you other projects I've got to do. That tank is on the piss. I don't know what's happened to one of the front blocks is either break, broken up, because they were, uh, uh, not concrete blocks, they uh, breeze blocks. So I think it's broken up. So that's got to be moved. I only go so high with the gutter and I'm going to get my son to come and renew my gutter. But at the moment he's working nights and all sorts. I've got that roof to sort out. They all say to me, you've got to sort the bow out, it? you know, because it's caved in in the middle and all this stuff. I can't be bothered. And I, what I want to do is I want to take this off and put some clear plastic if they've got some. I'll have a look on the tip over there. Clear perspex, so it's clear. Because I don't keep nothing in it, except the cups. So guys, stay safe. Battery's now gone into red. Bye for now. Love you all. Bye.